Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. So today we're going to be looking at the third of the four Commander 2017 decks. This one is the Wizard Tribal Arcane Wizardry deck with Inalia Archmage Ritualist and it's a blue black red deck. So as I mentioned before, with the, uh, with the Commander products, you basically just get one of these oversized cards for the League Commander. In addition to the oversized card, you have a um, strategy guide, like a how to play guide, that also has a bit of backstory about the, uh, the Commander in question. And, uh, and there's the instructions for basically playing the deck. The deck also comes with the relevant tokens in here and also a quick reference guide. And uh, I think the deck box they talk about is basically this. So, here we go. As with all the decks I've looked at so far, I'm going to highlight the uh, the mythic and the, the rares and uh, spend a little time on, on looking at the uh, the mana base for the, uh, the deck. So, Inalia Archmage Ritualist is 2 blue black red for a 4-5 legendary creature human wizard with eminence. Whenever another Non-token wizard enters the battlefield under your control. If an earlier archmage ritualist is on the in the command zone or on the battlefield, you may pay one. If you do create a token that's a copy of the, that wizard, the token gains haste, exile it at the beginning of the next end step. Um, our first sort of alternate commander is Kess. Dissident Mage, it's one blue, black, red for a 3-4 legendary creature, human wizard, with flying. During each of your turns, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. If a card cast this way would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. And our second alternate is Mersil the Pretender, one blue, black, red, legendary creature, human wizard. It's 4-4. Four, four. When Marcel, the Pretender, enters the battlefield, you may exile an artifact or creature card from your hand or graveyard and put a cage counter on it. Marcel, the Pretender, has all activated abilities of all cards you own in exile with cage counters on them. You may activate each of those abilities only once each turn. And then we can see our... Um, our tokens, so we've got a zombie and a gold token. Zombie gold, zombie gold, zombie gold. So clearly something is generating both zombie and gold in this deck, and quite a bit of it by the looks of these tokens. Yeah, so every single token is two-faced zombie and gold token. So Rakdos Charm is in the deck. Uh, Bloodline Necromancer. Curse of Disturbance. Curse of Opulence. Mirror of the Four Bears. Archimancer. 
Into the Royal, Merchant of Secrets, Opportunity, Reality Shift, Seagate Oracle, Corpse Augur, Go for the Throat, Cauldron Dance, oh, this is a cool card, um, so there's an interesting side point here I think, I'm just going to try and find it, I, if you remember I did a, a deck um, recently, which was a deck from, there we go, I just was curious about the artwork here, so this is the original Cool and dance, so it's interesting to see it in this deck. So. Interesting inclusion. So, with cauldron dance, four black red instant cast cauldron dance only during combat. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature gains haste. Return it to your hand at the beginning of your next end step. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. That creature gains haste. Its controller sacrifices it at the beginning of the next end step. Croesus Charms in here. Is it Kronark? Nivix Guild Mage. Curse of Verbosity. Terminate. The Commander Sphere in here, Dark Steel Ingot, Filoir Stone. It's interesting, this deck's got some quite different um, Commander staples in it than the other decks. But there is a Soul Ring in here. We have an Unstable Obelisk, a Warm Power Stone, which is in all the other decks. There's an Island, there's a couple of those. I'm sure we'll see the rest of the basic lands later in the deck. So let's get on to some rares here. So we've got Gale Caster Colossus, 5, 2 blue, 5, 6 creature giant wizard. Tap and untap wizards you control, return target non land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. Magus in the mind, 4, 2 blue, creature human wizard, so 4, 5. Also has blue tap, sacrifice Magus in the mind. Shuffle your library, then exile the top X cards, where X is 1 plus the number of spells cast this turn. Until the end of turn, you may play cards exiled this way without paying their mana costs. Portal Mage. 2 and a blue for a 2-2 creature human wizard with flash. When Portal Mage enters the battlefield during the declare attacker step, you may reselect which player or planeswalker target attacking creature is attacking. Interesting effect. Kindred Dominance, 5 and 2 black, choose a creature type, destroy all creatures that aren't of the chosen type. Pretty, uh, pretty cool in a tribal deck. Vindictive Leash, 3 and a black, 4 1 creature zombie wizard. When Vindictive Leash dies, choose one or more. Each mode must target a different player. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. Target opponent discards two cards. Target opponent loses five life. Is it Chemistra? Two and a red for a 1-3 creature goblin wizard with haste. Red and tap, exile target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. One and a red tap, sacrifice is it Chemistra? Cast any number of cards exile with is it Chemistra without paying their mana costs. Shifting Shadow, two and a red, Enchantment Aura, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature has haste and at the beginning of your upkeep destroy this creature. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a keep creature card. Put that card onto the battlefield and attach Shifting Shadow to it. Then put all other cards revealed this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. Tagum's Sadis. Sadisi's Hand, 3 blue black for a 3 4 legendary creature human wizard. Skip your draw step. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top 3 cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest onto your, into your graveyard. Black tap, exile X cards from your graveyard, target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn. 
There's loads of really interesting cards in this deck that do pretty interesting things. Um, <coughs> Clone Legion. This is a mythic. 7-2 blue. It's a sorcery for each creature token player controls. Creature token. Oh, hang on. <laughs> for each creature token for each creature target player controls, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Comet Storm, X2 red, instant with multi-kicker 1 on it. Choose target creature or player, then choose another target creature or player for each time Comet Storm was kicked. Comet Storm deals X damage to each of them. Haven Girl Leash, 3 blue black, 4-4 four, four, creature zombie wizard. 1, you may cast target creature cards. In a graveyard this turn, when you cast that card this turn, Haven Ghoul Leash gains all activated abilities of that card until end of turn. Marchester of the Black Marchester of the Black Rose is in here. One blue, black, red, three three legendary creature, human wizard with dethrone. So whenever this creature attacks, the player with the most life or tied with the most life put a plus one plus one count on it. Other creatures you control have dethrone. Whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it dies, return that, cre that card to the, to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of your next end step. Fellow the Night Clad, 4 blue, black, legendary creature, human wizard, 4-4 four, four with Intimidate. Other creatures you control have Intimidate. Whenever Fellow the Night Clad or another creature you control leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. Arcanus the Imp... imp Om I keep saying Arcanus the Impotent. Um, Arcanus the Omnip Omnipotent. 3-3 three, three blue for a 3-4 legendary creature wizard. Draw 3 cards. 2-2 two two blue. Return Arcanus the Omnipotent to its owner's hand. Azami Lady of Scrolls. 2-3 two blue. 0-2 legendary creature human wizard. Tap and untap wizard you control. Draw a card. Body double is in here. Uh, four and a blue, zero, zero. You may have body double when so the battlefield as a copy of any creature card in the graveyard. Harbing Harbinger of the Tides. Two blue, creature of Merfolk Wizard. It's a two, two. You may cast Harbinger of the Tides as though it had flash if you pay two more to cast it. When Harbinger of the Tides enters the battlefield, you may return target tapped creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Polymorphist's Jest, 1 and 2 blue, instant, till the end of turn, each creature target player controls, loses all abilities and becomes a blue frog, with base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Serendip Sorcerer, 1, 2 blue, 1-1, one, one. creature human wizard, tap target creature other than Serendip Wizard, has base power toughness 0, turn till end of turn. Spell Twine. Five and a blue sorcery, exile target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard, and target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard. Copy those cards, cast the copies if able without paying their, paying their mana cost, ex exile spell twine. Apprent Apprentice Necromancer, one and a black for a 1 1 creature zombie wizard. Black tap, sacrifice Apprentice Necromancer, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature gains haste at the beginning of your next end step. Sacrifice it. Decree of Pain. Six and two black sorcery. Destroy all creatures. They can't be generated, regenerated. Destroy a card for each creature. Destroy this waste. And it has cycling for three and two black. So with cycling you discard this card and draw a card for its cycling cost. When you cycle Decree of Pain, all creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Magus of the Abyss, three and a black for a creature human wizard, four, three. At the beginning of, a, of each player's upkeep, destroy target non-artifact creature. That player controls of his or her choice. It can't be regenerated. Necromantic Selection. Four and three black. Sorcery, destroy all creatures and return a creature card put into a graveyard this way to the battlefield under your control. It's a black zombie in addition to its other colours and types. Exile Necromantic Selection. Puppeteer Click, 3 in, 2 black, 3 2, creature fairy wizard with flying. When Puppeteer Click enters the battlefield, 
put target creature card from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It gains haste. At the beginning of your next end step, exile it. Also has persist on it. So this is um where this came from. This would have come from somewhere around Law Wind Block, I believe. Um so there's those like, two two set blocks and I know it came from one of those but I can't specifically remember which one. So with Persist, when this creature dies, if it had minus one, minus one counters on it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a minus one, minus one counter on it. So that's if it had no minus one, minus one counters on it. I suppose it's a bit like, um, what's that? It's a form of undying. Chaos Warp, two and a red instant. The owner of target permanent shuffles it into his or her library then reveals the top card of his or her library if it's a permanent card he or she puts it into onto the battlefield ethereum horn sorcerer four blue red three six artifact creature minotaur wizard one blue red return ethereum horn sorcerer to its owner's hand it's also got cascade on it so when you cast this spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Put the exiled cards on the bottom of your library in a random order. Memory Plunder. So that's four blue-black hybrid mana. It's an instant. You may cast target instant or sorcery cards from an opponent's graveyard without paying its mana cost. Mercurial Chemister, 3 blue-red for a 2-3 creature human wizard, blue tap draw, 2 cards, red tap, discard a card. Mercurial Chemister deals damage to target creature equal to the discarded card's converted mana cost. And then the Pain Artist is in here, blue and red, legendary creature of a Dolcan wizard, X blue-red tap, and then the Pain Artist deals X damage to target creature, that creature's controller draws X cards and it's a 1-1. One -one. Legendary creature of a Dolcan wizard. Nif Misit the Fire Mind, two blue, two, um, two, and then two blue, two red. Legendary creature sh Dragon Wizard. It's a four four with flying. Whenever you draw a card, Nif Misit the Fire Mind deals one, div, deals one damage to target creature or player. Tap, draw a card. Shadow Mage Infiltrators in here. One blue black for a one three creature human wizard with fear whenever say shadow mage infiltrator deals combat damage to a player you may draw a card solemn girl's command three blue black instant choose two counter target non creature spell return target permanent to its owner's hand target creature gets minus three minus three until end of turn or destroy target planeswalker Never Isle's disc is in here for for an artifact which um, when it enters, it enters the battlefield tapped and for one you can tap it, destroy all artifacts, creatures and enchantments. And then we move on to our mana base. So we've got Exotic Orchard in here. So tap add to your mana pool one mana of any colour that a land an opponent controls could produce. Mystifying Maze is in here, so it taps for Taps for colourless, and then for four generic, tap it, exile target, attacking creature and opponent controls. At the beginning of your next end step, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. And we've got our basic lands here. Another piece of uh, shooting star artwork. It's obviously a thing in these decks. I do enjoy the, the sort of artwork choices on the... Um, on the basic lands uh, in Commander products. And then we got on to our swamps. And then finally our mountains. So I'm hoping we've got the rest of the here we go. So Path of Ancestry. Path of Ancestry enters battlefield tapped. And you can tap it, add it to your mana pool one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity when that mana is spent to cast a creature card that shares a creature with type with your commander scry one. So we've seen this card in all the other decks. And this is a fairly popular type of non basic land to see or or um mana mana fixing um 
card where you, you have this thing that's tied into your commander's colour identity. Command Tower is in here, funnily enough, talking about this. So this was the one of the original um, version, uh, um, types of this card where you've uh, got the, the mana that it generates tied into the colour of your commander's colour identity. Crumbling Necropolis. So interesting to see what cards they draw from Magic's history to um, do three colour mana fixing. So they've got Crumbling Necropolis, enters the battlefield tap and it taps for blue, black or red. Dimir Aqueduct. So we're seeing these cards from uh, Ravnica block in in all of these decks on the, in their rare, various relevant on colour um, colour combinations. So these enter the battlefield tap, but they do bounce a land. Um, but once they're you know good to go, so to speak, they will tap for two colours. In this case, blue black. Dismal Backwater again. We've seen this type of card in the other decks. Enters tapped, um, you gain one life, and then it taps for blue or black in this case. So it looks like we've got Evolving Wards in here, Sack Land, um, and then you go search for a basic land card and then put it into the battlefield tap, stuff your library. Grixix Panorama, another way of fixing for three cards, uh, three colours. Uh, this would have been from the uh, was it Shards of Alara block. So tap, add colourless to mana pool, and for one generic, sacrifice Grixis Panorama. Search your library for a basic island, swamp, or mountain card, then put it into your battlefield, onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Is it Boiler Works? Uh, this is the Ravnica block bounce land for blue red. Jawar Isle Refuge. Uh, another another card that enters the battlefield tapped and uh, you gain one life and then you, you can tap it for blue or black. Ractus Canarium, Canarium, um, same as we've seen before from from Ravnica block, but this one does uh, black, black red. Swiftwater Cliffs, tap and life gain um, when it enters the battlefield, and this one does blue or red. Temple of the False Gods, you see this in a lot of uh, Commander products. It's new artwork, I believe. Um, tap, double colourless to your mana pool. Activate this ability only if you control five or more lands. Terramorphic Expanse, so this was the original um, sort of basic land uh, sack, um, sack and search card. Um, so Evolving Worlds is basically a functional reprint of this. So we've got a Vivid Land in here. So this is the one that exploits um, charge counters. So Vivid Crag and Battlefield tap with two charge counters on it. Tap add red to your mana pool and tap remove a charge counter from Vivid Crag. Add one mana pool of, of any colour to your mana pool. You're going to see certain utility lands uh, consistently crop up in uh, Commander product. Um, and the Vivids, the Vivid Lands is a good example of that. Another one is often the, the Cycle Lands. Um, I've been in a lot of different uh, Magic Commander projects, pre-cons over the years. So we've also not surprisingly got a, a Vivid Creek, which is the blue Vivid Land, and Vivid Mar Marsh, which is the black Vivid Land. So there we have it. That's our, um, that's our Wizard Tribal deck. It's the uh, with Anala Archmage Ritualist as the uh, as the lead commander. Um, it's blue, blue, black, red, arcane wizardry deck. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.